Hello wine lovers, I'm trying to summarize my impressions of my recent tasting of the wines from Provence. Uh, this includes the Côte de Provence, Côte de Varrois, Côte d'Aix-en-Provence, and also the Cru of uh, La Londe and Saint-Victoire. And um, first of all, personally, it took me quite a long time to accept Rosé as a, as a wine, as a fine wine. I've probably been tasting the wines now for a bit more than 10 years and I've been also drinking them, which is a good sign. And uh, this is due, first of all, to the fantastic increase in quality. I mean, I think the wines were easy to sell locally in the old days, but today Rosé is here to stay. It's an established style. You find it on the fine tables in New York, in Tokyo, in Stockholm, in Paris, regardless of where you are in the world. And uh, there's so much diversity. I, I learn more the more I taste the differences between the Varrois, the Coteau d'Aix, or the, the Côte de Provence in terms of maceration, in terms of the traditional varieties. But I still think the strength is that we, we, we do have very old vineyards of Grenache. We do have the Senso and the Syrah, Mourvedre that are making unique. You can make good Rosé wines from other varieties too, but I think the real um, style and character is within these varieties. Apart from the Rosé, of course, which is a large output, you, you know, there's uh, a fair amount of uh, red wines being made too. There's a quite vast diversity here as well when we speak about the Provence between Bandol to, to the other appellations. But uh, what's unique here, what we don't find in other southern French regions like the Rhone or the Languedoc, is that we do have the Cabernet in these blends. And when the Cabernet gets ripe tannins, ripeness of tannins, and we have the mix of Cabernet and Syrah, which is quite rare in the wine world, uh, we do have a quite unique character as well. And as for my personal taste, I have to say, that the white wines from Provence was also something which was very niche before. It's still quite small in terms of total production, but I think when the whites are well made, particularly the Rolle or the Vermentino, which I tend to call the Riesling of the Mediterranean, because it always maintains wonderful degrees of freshness, even in warmer climates. The Grenache Blanc uh, and the other varieties, the wines can be tremendously well made and uh, very complex and very intriguing. So. Cheers.